ScreenFlow 10 is finally out and there's quite a few new features but there's one particular feature that is of interest to me in this video and that is the automatic background removal. Now background removal for the ScreenFlow community has been a long awaited feature, a long awaited dream really and it's finally here. So the question is, is it any good? Well, in this video, I'm going to put the tool to the test so we can see whether you can really remove that background. Let's do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my screen and then I'm going to show you how to enable the screen background removal, which is really a filter. It's a chroma filter. And I'm going to make things as difficult as I can for screen flow. It's evening time here in the UK so the light is quite dim outside. I'm not using any special lights, there's just a light bulb up there and there's a blue light behind me. I'm sitting on a chair, the background is not an even colour, I'm not using a green screen or anything like that to make things easier and there's a picture that you can see behind me and also I'm going to put my trousers on the chair just to make things more difficult. The software is going to have to try and remove all these things and keep me in the picture. It's going to have to make decisions as to who is who and what pixels matter and what pixels don't. This should be interesting. Okay, so here on the screen you can see the video that I just recorded and you can see my trousers, my shorts really, behind me. Uh, and let me show you how you add the filter and then we can take a look to gauge how good this filter is. We can see that the background really is a nightmare for this test. So this really would be impressive if it actually manages to deal with this. So let's have a look. You select your film. We're in film view here. You scroll to the bottom where you have filters and effects. You select a new filter and effect and you can see different filters some of which are quite interesting, but this is the one that we want. Background removal, we have chroma key and we have automatic. So let's try the automatic. We can't do the chroma key, of course, because I don't have a solid color background. But as I said, I just want to try the automatic background removal. So let's click on that and then click on add. That's added the filter and that's quite impressive, to be honest considering that everything is going on behind me, including my pants, I have to say that's a lot better than what I expected. Now, if I turn the filter off for a moment, we can remember exactly what's going on in the background. There's really quite a lot going on there. So to get this result really is quite impressive. Now, I'm going to play the clip so that we can see some motion and that's going to really put things to the test. So let's play the test. You can see me moving around. Ah, okay. So you can see some problems right away when I move my hands and even my even my head is losing chunks here, there and everywhere as I move. So the automatic background removal is far from perfect when it comes to dealing with motion. So this is me being quite still, just chatting away, maybe looking at the keyboard for an action shot. And now I'm going to start adding some motion and let's see how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to move my hands like this. I'm not going to move them too much out of frame because that obviously is going to break things when I put my hands out of the camera view. But I'm going to move my hands as I normally would when I speak. I would expect for a talking head video to at least be able to move my hands like this. Okay, and this is one last test, this time with a white screen behind me. So let me just do a quick search here, just anything really, just to get some results on the screen and scroll up and down the screen as I talk. So this is still a talking head video scenario against a brighter screen. Again, I'll add some movement with my hands like this as if I was talking and we can all see what that looks like then. Well, as you can see, it's not quite perfect, but it's quite good. I'm quite impressed, actually, considering all that was going on in my background and the different shades. The auto background removal tool really did a good job. Now, you can see that if you're using this as a talking head to remove your background and you have a dark screen behind you, the light can really throw things off. You can start to lose chunks of your body and your head 
but on a white clear screen it's a lot better so if you're reviewing things like websites and things like that i think you can get away with quite a lot overall this is a good tool i like it let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you have a special setup that works for you share it with us and then we can maybe learn from you and in the meantime while you're here subscribe and i'll see you in the next video